should you become a mechanical engineer in 2021? That's the question that we're trying to answer in today's video. Hi, my name is Stephen Hack, and this is Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. If you end up enjoying the video, hit that thumbs up to support the channel. But first, what is a mechanical engineer? Mechanical engineers are often the people behind inventions and innovations. This is the most versatile type of engineering. You can find mechanical engineers on many different engineering teams. Mechanical engineers can work on a wide variety of products, including car engines, airplane engines, vacuum cleaners, and a host of other consumer products. But what does the day-to-day -day look like? Often mechanical engineers have to analyze a host of problems and kind of figure out a particular solution. They read and interpret blueprints, technical drawings, schematics, or computer generated reports. They can meet with other types of engineers to implement operating procedures, resolve system malfunctions, or provide technical information. They can build and test prototypes. They can recommend design modifications to eliminate machine or system malfunctions, and the list goes on. Mechanical engineers can work in a lot of different industries around the world. But first, what does it actually take to become a mechanical engineer? You can't become a mechanical engineer without a bachelor's degree, typically from an accredited university. According to the Occupational Information Network, 83% of practicing mechanical engineers have a bachelor's degree, and then 17% have other. This could probably be a master's degree or even a PhD. Meanwhile, when you look at the education of engineering managers, 46% of them have a bachelor's degree, 39% have a master's degree, and 15% are other. So if you are interested in moving into management, you might need a master's degree to go along with your bachelor's degree. As far as compensation goes, according to the 2020 numbers, which just came out, mechanical engineers are on average the 14th best paying engineering field of the 16 engineering fields that the Bureau of Labor Statistics surveys pretty much every year. They tend to make a little bit more than industrial and civil engineers. But there are advantages to being a mechanical engineer that we'll get into a little bit later in the video that some of the other engineering fields do not have. Internationally, mechanical engineers in Australia actually earn a little bit more than mechanical engineers elsewhere. The median salary for a mechanical engineer in Australia was around $96,000 a year when converted to USD. And this is actually a 2018 number. It's not even up to date. In the United States, it was around 90,000 for a median salary. And in Canada, it was around 66,000 when converted to USD. For the rest of the video, we're gonna focus on mechanical engineers in the United States. And they have actually done pretty well historically. In the year 2000, the average base salary, we're using average salary here for a mechanical engineer was $60,860. This rose to $95,560 in 2020. So this on average gives us an average yearly wage growth for mechanical engineers of around $1,700 per year. They were beat out by engineering teachers and engineering managers. And these are two fields that you can go into from mechanical engineering. That's one of the beauties of going into this field. There's actually quite a few other fields you can exit into if you so desired. Engineering teachers in 2020 were all making around 114,000 and engineering managers around 158,000. Engineering managers seem to be making more and more every single year. They're seeing a $3,500 wage growth pretty much every single year. If trends were to continue by 2030, the average base salary for a mechanical engineer in the United States would be around $114,000 per year, whereas there'd be around $136,000 per year for an engineering teacher and about $190,000 for an engineering manager. Geography also plays a role in the compensation of mechanical engineers. New Mexico was actually found to be the highest paying state for mechanical engineers in 2020 with an average base salary of around $117,000 per year. Other high paying states and places, because we're including DC, which where the average base salary is around 116, but other high paying states include Maryland, California, Louisiana, and Delaware, not exactly the places you would think which would pay mechanical engineers the most money per year. So that covers the compensation of mechanical engineers using the new 2020 numbers. Next up, what is the job market like? Were mechanical engineers hurt last year during the pandemic during 2020? Well, the first thing to understand about the job market for mechanical engineers is that compared to other engineering fields, there is a massive number of employed mechanical engineers across the country. And the mechanical engineering workforce is second only to the civil engineering workforce. There were 294,000 employed mechanical engineers 
in 2020. So this is a very large workforce compared to other engineering fields. Many other engineering fields are very niche. You have to live in very specific areas. Mechanical engineering does have a little bit of this, but because the workforce is so large, there's a greater chance of finding other job opportunities in the city, state, or town that you actually want to live in. There definitely is an advantage to becoming a civil, industrial, mechanical engineer just because of the size of the workforces. Regarding the question on whether mechanical engineers lost jobs in 2020, they did lose a little over 10,000 jobs. The workforce declined a little bit. But this is a little bit of a blip on the map. In the year 2000, there was around 207,000 employed mechanical engineers. And by 2020, there's around 293,000. So there has been a lot of job growth for mechanical engineers over the past 20 years. Meanwhile, the number of employed engineering managers has actually fallen by over 40,000 jobs. In engineering teachers, there has been a little bit of growth in the number of jobs for them, but not very much. The Bureau of Labor Statistics is predicting about a 4% growth in the number of jobs for mechanical engineers. But if President Biden does end up passing this giant infrastructure bill, it is going to lead to greater employment for mechanical engineers going into the future because many mechanical engineers will be needed based off what's inside the bill right now. But all of that is subject to change. It really depends on politics. As for where all the jobs are for mechanical engineers, there are jobs pretty much in every state, but there are a couple really hot spots for mechanical engineers. In 2020, there were 40,340 people employed in the Wolverine state. That's the state of Michigan. And most of these mechanical engineers are supporting the auto industry. Other places that have a lot of employed mechanical engineers compared to other states include the state of California, where there was around 28,000 employed, and Texas, where there was around 22,000 employed. But Michigan really stands out as one of the, probably the best places to be a mechanical engineer. So to gauge the competitiveness of this occupation, I usually go to Indeed.com. Indeed is a job posting aggregator. It pulls in job postings from many different sources. So when I went on Indeed, I searched for, did a general search of mechanical engineer, came up with around 17,000 job postings. And then I did certain title searches just because there's so many titles for mechanical engineers. It probably isn't even all of them. So I searched for mechanical engineer, product engineer, project en engineer, and there's probably going to be a little bit of overlap. But for the general search, there was around 18,000 job postings. And when I searched for specific titles, there was around 26,000 job postings. When we compare this to the number of employed, this gives us almost a ratio of one to 12, meaning there's actually kind of a shortage of mechanical engineers right now in the United States. Now, many of these job postings are going to be in specific places, but in general, there definitely is a shortage as of right now. So that covers the job market. The next question is, would this occupation be compatible with your personality? When we look at the Myers-Briggs types of mechanical engineers, they're actually very similar to civil engineers. The most common Myers-Briggs type for mechanical engineers is actually the ISTJ, the inspector, and then it's followed by ESTJ, the director, the crafter, and the persuader. Whereas the most likely type to become a mechanical engineer, this is because the types aren't evenly distributed across the entire population. ISTJ is actually the most common type. So the most likely type to become a mechanical engineer is actually the ENTJ, the commander, so very similar. And then, then it would be the architect, the INTJ, then the inspector, ISTJ, and then the debater, ENTP. So there are pros and cons becoming a mechanical engineer in 2021. It is the 14th best paying engineering field by base salary according to the US government. But one of the best perks of being a mechanical engineer is that the workforce and the number of jobs is giant. It is the second largest workforce right behind civil engineering. So there are jobs in pretty much every single state. Also, you have a lot of choice as a mechanical engineer. You can become an engineering manager if you're ambitious. You can become an engineering teacher if you're a little bit more social. And you can work on other engineering teams and really specialize in if you want to work in the oil and gas industry, that is open to you as a mechanical engineer. Many mechanical engineers also end up in the software industry. As of right now, there does appear to be a shortage of mechanical engineers. If you enjoyed this video, definitely also check out my civil engineering video. Many people have a hard time deciding whether to become a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer. Both occupations are fantastic. It really just depends on your interest. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.